Today we're going to learn how to disable trackbacks and pinbacks on your WordPress site. Now, a lot of people say trackbacks and pinbacks are basically worthless, add additional queries to your site, and basically it's just like unneeded spam. And basically it's a blog is linked to you and it's kind of like an ancient thing. So we're gonna learn how to do that right now. But first, if this is your first time here, make sure to click that like button, click that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you get value out of this video. Now, let's jump into it. So I'm on this uproar site and I am going to disable pinbacks and trackbacks. So I'm gonna to go to settings and then I'm gonna to go to discussion. Okay, so I'm already here, settings and discussion. And then I'm gonna unchecked, attempt to notify any blogs linked to and from this post and allow link notifications from other blogs. Okay, and then I'm just gonna make sure that for these break comments, I'm gonna probably put this down to 20. I'm gonna click save. Okay, so then you might be thinking, okay, the work's done. We disabled trackbacks and pinbacks, but the thing is that's only gonna happen on future posts, okay? So if I go back into my current blog post I have or current pages, and if I edit this, I'll notice when I scroll to the bottom that this still has allow trackbacks and pinbacks enabled. So I can have to do this on every post or I can select all posts. So just for example, I'm just gonna uncheck this and then I'm gonna come up and save, or update the page, right? Or update the post. Okay, that's updated. And now if I click all posts, I'll notice that I can select all, and I can go to edit, and I can click apply, and I can change the pain status to do not allow. And by doing that, that's gonna, all the posts, the first 20 posts on this page, okay, I know there's, you know, page one on four, so I have to go to each page, or I could update my screen options to show more posts, okay? So well, I'm just gonna update this to 100 posts. I think just updating it to 100 posts or a lot of posts you have, the less pages, make sure you get all of them. And then I'm gonna select all, and then I'm gonna select edit, and then I'm gonna come over here and say, do not allow. So this is for all posts, and I'm gonna click update. Cool, so all 75 posts of mine have been updated, and I should have solved that disable trackbacks and pinbacks in your WordPress site. And that's it today, guys. If you guys have any other questions or have any other site speed questions, I'm trying to do some site speed tutorials. So leave the comments in the comment box below and see you guys next time. Peace.